हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी लर्न अबाउट द कॉन्ग्रुएंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स वी हैव आल्सो सीन दैट व्हाइल नोइंग अबाउट कॉन्ग्रुएंसी ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द पोजीशन इन व्हिच दे हैव बीन केप्ट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट वी आल्सो सॉ हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई पेयर्स ऑफ वर्टिसेस पेयर्स ऑफ मैचिंग साइड्स एंड पेयर्स ऑफ मैचिंग एंगल्स यू नो दैट व्हेन टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट ऑल देयर साइड्स एंड एंगल्स मैच सो we need to measure all the three sides and their three angles in order to know the congruence of these two triangles instead of measuring all the three pairs of sides and three pairs of angles of the two triangles if we measure some pairs of sides and angles will we know about their congruence if we measure the lengths of some pairs of sides and angles and know about the congruence of the two triangles from this information it would be good isn't it we will find it easy to understand this with the help of an example if i tell you that the lengths of the sides of one triangle are 8 cm 5 cm and 6 cm then will you be able to draw the triangle let us first draw a line segment of 8 cm now take a distance of 5 cm and draw an arc from end point of the line segment on the upper side by using compass now each point on the arc is at a distance of 5 cm from the end point of the line segment that means that since the distance between any point on the arc and the end point of the line segment is 5 cm it can be the third vertex of the triangle but then what can we say about its distance from the other end point the distance between a point on the arc and the other end point will change isn't it that means the length of the third side of the triangle will change since we want the length of the third side of the triangle to be 6 cm we will have to search such a point on the arc which will measure 6 cm from the second end point of the line segment how do we do this it's really easy let us use the compass once again measure a distance of 6 cm on the compass and draw an arc on the upper side of the another end point of the line segment now what can we say about the intersection point of the two arcs since this intersection point is on both the arcs it is at a distance of 5 cm from one end point of the line segment and 6 cm from the second end point of the line segment this means that when we join the intersection point to both the end points of the straight line segment then the lengths of the sides of the triangle so formed will be 8 cm 6 cm and 5 cm if we have a careful look at what all we did while drawing this triangle we will realize that while drawing the first arc if we would have taken 6 cm instead of 5 cm and 5 cm instead of 6 cm for the second arc then the triangle form would be like this do you realize that this triangle is the mirror image of the earlier triangle so both these triangles are congruent keep a mirror beside the second triangle and see how the reflection that we got is the same as the first triangle figure 2 similarly while drawing the arc if we would have drawn it on the lower side instead of the upper side of the line segment then this emerging triangle would look like this now again this triangle is the mirror image of the previous triangle now again this triangle is the mirror image of the previous triangle this means that if we know only the lengths of all the sides of a triangle then by using this any two triangles that we draw will be congruent so we did not require to measure the angles of the triangles to know whether they are congruent this is great isn't it to know about the congruence of the triangles we only check the sides of the triangles and so this is the side 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 or sss test of congruency of triangles okay now if we know that two sides of the two triangles and the angle between them match instead of knowing all three sides will these triangles be congruent now like what we did earlier we will see how many triangles we can draw if we know two sides and the angle between them suppose we have to draw a triangle whose two sides measure 8 cm and 6 cm and measure of angle between them is 60 degree now since the adjacent sides of the triangle measure 8 cm and 6 cm let us search the points on the arms of the angle which are at distances of 
8 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Now we have two straight line segments with lengths 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters and there is an angle of 60 degree between them. If we join the marked points on the arms of the angle, we will get a triangle with two sides measuring 8 centimeters and 6 centimeters having an angle of 60 degree between them. This is the triangle that we wanted. If we understand how we drew this triangle, then we will realize that if we would have made a mark on the arms of the angle at 6 cm instead of 8 cm and mark 8 cm on the arm of the angle where it was 6 cm earlier, then we would have got the triangle like this. If you look carefully, you will realize that this triangle is the mirror image of the previous triangle. So, both these triangles are congruent. This means that if we know any two sides of a triangle and the angle between them, then any two triangles drawn using this information are congruent. That is, if the lengths of any two sides of two triangles and the measure of angle between those two sides are the same, then those two triangles are congruent. Now, for the congruency of triangles, we only use their two sides and the angle between them. So, this is called the side angle side or SAS test of the congruency of triangles. Okay, now let me ask you a question just like we did now but slightly different. If we know two sides of a triangle and an angle not between them, how many triangles can we draw and will they all be congruent to each other? Think over it. Another similar question. If we know any two angles and one side of a triangle, how many triangles can we draw? Will they all be congruent to each other? Hint, as before, take specific lengths of sides and specific measures of angles of a triangle and try to find the answer by using geometric construction.